Okay, so we are working on still on boarding. So in boarding, a group of people come forward and cast their opinion to select someone. We call it boarding. In boarding, uh, there are several ways to select someone actually. We have a plurality, we have a majority, we have a hair method, and now we have another one called board account. So in board account, each voter rank the candidate and of course we assign point before i even continue that i want to make sure that we understand what is the significant about it or do we really use this board account yes we do use a board account so if you love sports major league baseball most valuable player award goes by the board account not only that actually college football most of the you know sports valuable player goes with this selection process and many universities and many political system you know political office also use this as a you know selecting process a method so in this case each voter votes for one candidate and rank the candidate actually and then assign a point whoever shows up last or got the fewest point will receive the lowest point in this case is one so actually let's figure it out or talk about what is talking what i'm talking about so board account is basically a ranking a rank candidate you rank the candidate actually and then assign the point actually assign point point as last candidate get one points and second to the last candidate get two and so on and so on okay so on and so on all right so basically we rank the candidate assign the point now how do we rank them basically if i have let's actually figure it out if i have two candidate so that's the only two way first position second position now by the board account method if anyone shows up second we'll get one point we'll get one points one points anyone shows up first will get two points if only two candidate now if i have more than two candidate here you go if i have a b c three candidate so this time c will get three point b will get two point and you will get sorry my apology c will get one point b will get two point and three will a will get three point because you go the last one lowest one will get lowest last one will get one point okay if i have a four candidate four candidate so in this case a b c d this time one two three four and so on and so on again this is the first one this is second position third position fourth position that is how we actually work it out and of course we're going to ch check out how many points in boards they receive versus how many point then we multiply and then finally we add and see how to find the winner so i have an example down here Find a winner using the board account method. So these are the choices. Peter, Quincy, Robert are running. There are six different possibility here. So first of all, let's assign the point, assign point for them. So, you know, let's have this structure. Well, if you don't have this structure, you can easily do that. So you don't misplace the uh, number and points. I always like this, okay? So Peter, Quincy, robert the first one you see you just you don't have to order the letter if it comes up like that first one you just put down here order doesn't matter in this case okay now 
first second third because i have only three candidate here so this is the possibility here now once i have first second third i know my third place will get one point next one will get one extra point two point and the following one get another extra point so this is three points so if there is a three candidate you just do three two one you just fill this out three two one three two one depending on number of candidate you have or number of letter you have actually if it is four letter you start with four three two one and so on now this is the big fraud actually you have to pay attention here so this time we're going to assign well we're going to see how many boards they got so we just assign the point now we're going to get their boards we're going to multiply this is a multiplication oh let me put this one this is a multiplication okay so this time we're going to check out how many boards he received so while he is first place oh by the way let me tell you something here this is first second sorry this is second and this is third okay so this is basically the way they showed up so fee on the first place so this is a first place 10 is the fee is the first place yes 10 plus 4 is 14 so right away i have a 14 here very good now i would love to do my first column actually so it's always better so if i do the first column here Q in the first place. No, that's not a Q. That's not a Q. This is a Q. This is a Q. So Q will get three point. Q will get six point. Again, this whole point for Q because Q is the first letter. So Q six plus three is nine. So we have a nine here. Very nice. Now let's do Robert. Robert got first place. No, no. Yes, yes. So Robert nine plus two is eleven. So Robert has 11 votes. Okay, now we finish the first floor. Now we go with the second position. Anyone shows up second? So Peter shows up second. Let's take a look here, is it? This is second position, okay? This is second position. So second position, no, no, yes, no, yes. So we do have, we do have Peter here. We do have a Peter here, as you clearly see. So Peter has how many? 9 plus 3 is 12. Let me check it out again. Oh no, sorry, I'm on the Peter. Yeah, that's right. I'm uh, Peter. Yeah, I'm filling out this one. I'm, I'm double checking. So this is P. Yeah, Peter, Peter. Very good. 9 plus 3 is 12. So that is 12. Very good. That is 12. Excellent. Now, next thing we do. Queen C in the second place. So Queen C 10. Queen C 2. So 12. Queen C is 12. Yeah. Very good. Now then Robert is in the second place. So Robert, yeah, 4, 6, 10. No more Robert in the second place. So 10. Good. Now we are on the third column. So Peter is on the third one. This is not Peter, this is not Peter, this is not Peter, this is Peter, and that is Peter. So 6 plus 2 is 8. So that is going to be 8 here. Now Quincy on the third place. So Quincy, no, yes, yes, 9 plus 4 is 13. So that would be 13 here. That would be 13. Very lovely. Now the last one. Robert in the third place. Yes. Yes, 10 plus 3 is 13. So once we have all of these, right, we are going to actually multiply and add. Okay. Now, one more thing I want to point out. If your question asks you, find the board account point for Robert, you don't have to do Peter and Quincy. You just do the Robert and your answer is going to be there. If question asks you, find the board account point for Quincy, you just look for Quincy, this column only. You don't have to do all the work, okay? Now, so if I have, now if I actually work it out here, so what I do here, I just multiply them. So 42 plus 24 plus 8, 42 plus 24 plus 8, this should give me 74. This should give me 
74. Okay, now then I do 27 plus 24 plus 13. It should give me 64. It should give me 64. The next one is 33 plus 20 plus 13. It should give me 66. So who is the winner? Clearly, Fita is the winner because Fita got the highest amount of votes. So we do see Fita owned by the board account. So fee own by board account method. Again, I said board account is calculation as you see because there is a lot of computation going on here. So therefore, it's also a computation actually. Board account refer to some calculation. So um, in this case, is it possible that we have um, you know tie yes of course if robert also have 74 we have a tie we have no winner so as of now we see uh plurality we may not have winner majority we may not have winner board account we may not have winner but the elimination method we must have a winner okay so that's all about board account and recalling the boarding system thank you